welcome to day four of your glow up sessions. Okay, I woke up this morning and my booty was so sore. I mean, okay, you guys, at the end of that workout yesterday, we were pulsing for so many minutes, but you killed it, it was fun, and today we have the one that I fear the most. <laughs> today we are doing cardio. It is not my favorite, but the good news is we are not jumping today, which I think your downstairs neighbors will appreciate. Something that we are using today, you guys, that I'm so excited for, are the kettlebells. Oh my gosh, okay, but no worries. If you do not have a kettlebell, it is okay. Two options, okay? Go ahead and grab a heavy weight. You can use a dumbbell as a kettlebell, or you can even use something like this, like your bottle, fill it with water. Make sure you have a good grip on that neck. You can use that as a kettlebell. Um, you can even put some, if it doesn't have a handle, you can put something heavy in a pillowcase, hold onto that neck really tight and swing that. Just be careful because it might have a little bit of um, that swinging motion within the swinging motion. But either way, today's cardio workout is going to be so fun. Um, I'm dreading it, but it still is going to be fun. Now go ahead and comment where you're coming in from because I love shouting you guys out before we get started. Okay, so let's see who is here. Ooh, I left my sound on again. <laughs> oh man. Okay, oh, Alice says, I really want that bottle. Where can I find it? That's actually, Oh, I didn't, oh, you guys, this is one of the new bottles from um, my Tartar collection. And this cream colored one actually has not hit stores yet. It's somewhere on a truck somewhere. I have no idea. So if you find it, grab one because this is a limited time thing. It's not gonna come back. So that is where the bottle is from. Okay, we have got South Carolina. We got Canada. Um, we got JC from Florida. Astoria also from Florida. We got Challenger Girl X from New Jersey. We got Canton, Ohio, Ontario. Lots of Canada today, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, we got Romania. We got Hannah Philly with my new 15 pound Pop Pilates kettlebell. Oh my gosh. Um, we got Pakistan, St. Louis, Nevada, people from everywhere. Oh, also, I decided to tuck my bangs up today. How are we feeling about that? Do we like the bangs? Or do we not like the bangs? I'm just like testing it because they're getting a little bit long and I was like, cardio, let's keep it out of the face. You know what I mean? Okay, um, I am just stalling because I don't wanna do the cardio workout. But you know what, sometimes, like I said in that video, you just gotta take a deep breath, count to three, and just go. So that is what we are doing today. You guys, we've got lean body meltdown. I'm gonna put this right here. We're gonna start out with that warm up, and then I will show you exactly how to use your kettlebell, okay? Let's go ahead and bring the arm over. Yes, stretching the side. Other side, a stretch. Yes. Little bit quicker. Reach for two, reach for two, reach. Nice, couple more. Two more. Plies, here we go. Down and up, warming up those legs. Isn't it kind of nice to have a familiar warm-up routine every time we start and to know that we're not going crazy right away? ease us into the workout and for me I pretty much just woke up so it's nice not to go hard right away your body needs that you don't have to kill yourself with every workout let's pulse it out down down keeping those knees wide belly in tailbone touch chest open shoulders away from the ears hold hands above the knees and go ahead and twist let's see if I get a back crack today oh Barely got one, I think I got all the crackies out yesterday. Other side. Oh, I got the crack on this side. And switch. And switch. So good, and slowly bring it up. Let's go ahead and walk towards the end of your mat. Arms up, walking the hands down. Give me an inchworm. Two, three, four, bring it up. Two three, four, again, out, 
two, three, hold that plank. Up, two, three, four. Again, in, two, three, four, hold it. All right, walking the feet in. I want you to bring the heels up. We're gonna go for those high heels. And we're gonna lift, we're down. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna get a George cameo! Georgie! Hi! This brings me so much happiness. A lift. Hi, George, you wanna stretch with mommy? And up. Nice. Down for two. A lift for two. Head down for two. And lift for two. Bring the heels down. Good. Good stuff. Now. Go ahead and bring one leg back, one leg in front. Drop the knee right here. Whew. And really press the hips down, stretching. And go ahead and bring it to the other side. One last stretch right here. <sighs> Good stuff. All right, you guys. We're gonna go through the moves. Our first one is a kettlebell squat. We'll head into kettlebell people like plies. And then I'm gonna show you how to use your kettlebell, okay? I'll break it down. But first, go ahead and grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell or nothing at all, or your water bottle, okay? And go ahead and bring it right here, right in front of the chest. Legs hip width apart, heels pressed into the mat. We go down for two and lift for two. A weighted squat and lift. You've got it. Down for two and up for two. Beautiful. All right, let's take it a little quicker. Let's go. Down, up, down, and up. And, and lift. Open that chest. Whew. How are we feeling today? Is your butt hurting from yesterday's bombshell bootification? Also, I had so much fun at naming these workouts. Abdominal destruction, sleep body sculptor, today's lean body meltdown. Actually, something really funny is that for today's workout, I wanted to call it Total Meltdown. And before we went to publish that name, Sam was like, don't you think that could be taken negatively? And I was like, all right, fine. But I actually was gonna call it Total Meltdown. Down and up. All right, it's a heart rate up. Low and lift. I want that heart rate up. I want that booty down. Whew. Yes, we're not jumping today, but that doesn't mean we can't get the heart rate up and we can't bring that back. Down and up. A little bit more. Keep that chest up. Weighted squats are hard. Okay, down and up. And this is such a great way to increase the intensity in a move you're familiar with. Okay, go ahead and bring that kettlebell or that weight or that water bottle right in between your legs right here, holding on top. Bring the toes diagonally out. We're gonna come down. Now notice how my chest stays open, my hips are tucked, my tailbone is tucked. I'm not leaning forward, okay? Up and down, lift and lower, good. Up and down. Opening out those inner thighs. Now hold, press, press. Hold right there, hold right there. I want you to feel the stretch. Ooh, feel it in those inner thighs. Okay, get down a little deeper. Ready, pulse it out. Pulse, 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 pulse. Oh, looks like DJ Sam went for like a 80 sound. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of today's playlist of our amazing royalty-free music. Down, down, shoulders away from the ears. Press, press, oh my gosh, my thighs are burning. Four, three, take it to full range right here. Down, up, down, up, good. So my forearms are pretty much resting against my hip bones. Come on, low, lift, down, up. Good, I feel like my hair should be like teased, split on the side, beach blonde, in like a high like pull up, one piece, 
on the beach, you know what I'm saying? Good, down and up, low and lift, down, up, down, up, and hold. Okay, you guys, I think the legs are warmed up, more than warmed up, and I'm gonna show you how to use a kettlebell, okay? So it's really important, the form, because if you don't get it right, you're not gonna be getting in your cardio and could potentially be hurting your body. So this is what I want you to do. For the kettlebell swing, and I'm gonna stand this way first so you can see, legs, hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider so that the kettlebell can go through. Now check it out. You're gonna keep the forearm against those hip bones, okay? Right here, we're gonna bring the kettlebell in between the thighs, and then we're gonna thrust, thrust with the hips. So this is what it is not. It is not this. See how I'm just using my arms? It is also not this. Squatting down and bringing up, squatting down, bringing it up. It is this. Here, slightly under the crotch, okay, slightly under, boom, boom. Now when I am pushing out, I'm squeezing my butt cheeks together, I'm squeezing my core and I'm allowing myself to thrust and stop. And you wanna exhale at that moment, okay? Okay, let's try this. Like there, boom, boom, just like that. Okay, we're gonna keep our body nice and strong, just like this. We're not flailing, every movement matters. Remember, you're not using your arms, you're using your hips. You are thrusting just like you are in a bridge. Pulse. Good. Keep going. Nice. Hold on to that kettlebell. Don't let it fly out. Oh, that's like one of my biggest fears. When I do get into a mirror, I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I let go of it and it crashes the mirror? Especially if I'm in a class. Keep that back. Flat. Ice four. Okay. Cardio, right? Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna switch out my kettlebell and by that, by the way, that was a 15 pound. For the 20 pound, you can go heavier if you want. You can also use a dumbbell for this. I'm gonna show you a kettlebell deadlift. Now, all these moves are pretty technical. So I really want you to pay attention to your form. I know I'm not there with you, but do your best. Try to look into a mirror later or window reflection so you can see how your form is. Okay, so my feet are gonna be a little bit wider than the hip width apart, okay? I'm gonna bring the kettlebell in between my legs, but like in line with my ankle, okay? Notice how I'm squatting down. I'll go to the side so you can see. My chest is open, my back is flat and then I stand up. So I'm using my hamstrings and my booty to lift myself up. This is not about your back. This is about the lower half of your body, okay? All right, so check it out. We go down, and right here, I am feeling my hamstrings, okay? And lift, using my butt to get back up. There it is. Pushing that kettlebell back to your ankles, and then squeezing your butt to get back up. Really push in those heels into the mat. Good. Lift. Perfect. Down. Eyes forward. Do you feel, do you feel the hamstrings right here? You should be feeling it, feeling it, feeling it as we kiss the floor with our kettle or our dumbbell before we lift up, okay? Down. Two, three, four, and lift, two, three, four, boom, good stuff, and up, good, and down, right in between the ankles, and lift, good, and squeezing your butt cheeks, again, as you lift, and up, okay, now we're gonna take it a little bit faster, because I feel like you got the form, ready? Down, two, up, two, down, Two, up, two, low. Good, and imagine with the kettlebell, 
You're trying to break apart the handles. That's how tight I want you to squeeze the bar. Good, booty back, chest open, down, two, up, two, come on. And lift, exhale, down, two, up, two, focus, good, down, two, up, two, very nice. How you doing today? New things that we're learning. Feel the hamstring, feel it, feel it. And lift, and down, two, up, two, beautiful. Almost there, low, and lift, low, and lift, and down, and bring it up. Okay, very, very good. You guys, now we're gonna hold on to that same kettlebell and go for an upright row. Now, if you have a dumbbell, grab the other one, you're gonna be doing both arms, bringing the elbow up towards the shoulder, okay? Otherwise, I'm holding onto the middle of the, uh, the kettlebell right here. So let me show you what that looks like. You are, if using a dumbbell, you'll be doing something like this, drawing the elbows up towards the shoulder and then bringing it back down, okay? Now, my kettlebell people, grab onto that kettle. Legs, hip width apart, slight bend in the knee. Lift, and down, nice. Lift, and down. Beautiful, we are getting a total body workout in today with cardio. I'm already sweating. And uh, that fireplace is not helping, but it's quite pretty. Up, and down, very nice. A lift, for two, belly in, chest open. Up, for two, and down. You got it, how you feeling? All right, let's take it a little bit quicker. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Feel the shoulders. Yeah, exhale, and down. You got it. Lift and lower. You're doing so good. Keep going. Lift and down. Good. Now appreciate these moments of rest. Well, they're not rest, but they're not super cardio. So the next one is gonna be a different form of a kettlebell swing. We're actually gonna be using one arm, and we're gonna be alternating mid-air. I know, it sounds crazy, you gotta be careful, but I'll break it down for you. Okay, lift and down. You guys, we're more than halfway through right now. Up and down, okay. Go ahead and switch back to the other kettlebell weight or keep it, it doesn't matter, but we are switching, so this is gonna be a little technical. Okay, you ready? All right, you guys, I remember showing this to you probably in my um, bikini competition, weightlifting days back in the 2012s, you know? Um, but I did this with the dumbbell, so check it out. Legs are a little bit wider than hip width apart. The kettle is gonna go right in between your crotch. This arm's out, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up with one arm. But when it's out here, we're gonna switch to the other hand. Please be careful. If you do not feel comfortable with this or you have slippery fingers, just don't do it, okay? And just use both hands. All right, for those of you who wanna try. So it's here, up, switch, switch, like that. And same concept here. The chest stays open. We're not doing this, we're not using our back. We're thrusting with the hips, okay? It's not about the arms. All right, here we go. Rolling the shoulders back. Three, two, one. And we're here. Up, up. You're gonna squeeze your booty as you thrust forward. See how I'm really thrusting my hips as my arms go up. Good stuff, you guys. Nice. Keep those eyes forward. Lift. Really pressing those hips. Woo. Nice work. Up. You've got it. Down. Okay, I am 
questioning DJ Sam's cardio music choice right here. It is very lullaby-like. <laughs> That's okay, we'll get through it. Come on, you guys. Keep thrusting the hips forward. Keep that chest open. You got it. Nice. A little bit more. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, heart rate is up for sure. Now, we have our goblet squats. You can hear in my breathing. This is hard for me, okay? So, goblet squats. What I want you to do is to go ahead and hold on to the sides of your dumbbell, I mean of your kettlebell. Bring it up like this, okay? My legs are wider than hip width apart. For our goblets, we wanna to touch our elbows to our knees while keeping the chest up. So you're getting really low, okay? So check it out like this. We're down, touching, and then lifting. Let's see how low my booty's going, okay? Because I need you low. Here we go. Down, two, lift, two, down. See how low that is? The elbow's touching the upper thigh. And down, two, lift. You got it. Down. Nice. I'm so sad today that I can't read your comments because I'm holding onto this kettlebell right now, but I see you guys are harding and everything right down there on my phone. Maybe when we get to abs at the end, whew, I'll be able to read some of your comments. Down, two, lift. Let's get a little lower. Low. And up, really squeezing your butt, keeping the knees wide here. Don't buckle them in. Lift and down. Don't you love that there's no cardio right now? I mean, not cardio, no jumping right now. There's a lot of cardio right now. Down and low. Love and lift. Head up. Come on. Head up. Almost there. Good. And press down. Lift up. Press down and lift up. Okay. You know what? That was a good pace for those goblet squats because you don't want to rush through those, okay? Now, you guys, we have suit case lunges. Okay, I'm gonna grab onto my 15s. Um, honestly, you don't even need to have anything for this, but I want this to be a little bit harder for my legs, and um, I wanna keep that intensity up for my heart rate, okay? So, with our suitcase lunges, you stand on one side of your mat, or not on your mat at all, you really don't need it, but I do have it here because we have some fun ab exercises at the end. So check it out, shoulders rolling back, chest open. I'm gonna walk forward and switch. Down and lift, yes. Down and lift, woo, heavy. Low and up, good. Down, keeping that chest up high. Shoulders away from the ears and push back, feeling the booty. Down and lift, you got it. Low and up, down and up, come on. Good stuff. Okay, for the next one, let's pulse it down. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So this is your split lunge, pulse. Good, really gonna tax those legs, making sure you are as close to a 90-90 with that knee, with the leg as possible. Man, you guys. I'm sweating so hard right now. Burning! Who else is burning? Four, three, two, switch leg. Down, down, oh my gosh! No break! That's how we do! Very nice, but if you do need a break, that's okay. You can take one, but we'll come right back in! I want you to work your endurance. I want you to get stronger. I want you to fight through those hard points. Just don't hurt yourself. You've got to listen to your body. Press, 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 press. 
All right, give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, come on. Four, whose legs are dying? Two, one, and bring it down. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I want you to grab onto your kettlebell. I'm gonna show you an American kettlebell swing. So the first one that you did, that was called a Russian kettlebell swing, which lifts up to about here. American takes you over the head. We really gotta watch our form here, okay? So please pay attention. So, my hands. Right here, again, my legs a little bit wider than hip-width apart. Forearms are still on the hip bones right here. When we lift up, you're gonna let the arms go above the head, but I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to open. Keep it nice and tall with the spine. So we're here, check it out. So this is Russian, Russian, American. That's the difference. It's where the arms fall, but the spine stays the same. We're still using our hips to thrust. That is where your power is coming from. Don't just move your arms. The arms should come up as an extension of momentum from the hips, okay? All right, here we go. American kettlebell swing, let's go. Lift up. See how my spine stays straight. My butt cheeks are clenching. That's also gonna keep my core nice and strong. Really squeezing and thrusting on top. Good, a little bit more. You've got it. Give me four, three, two, one. Woo! Down on the mat for our last minute, you guys. I've got sit-ups to press-ups for you, okay? What I want you to do is hold on to that kettlebell or that dumbbell or nothing at all. Okay, you guys. Sit-ups, let's go. Lift it up, then above the head. Down to chest, lower it down, that's it. Lift, up, down, back. Lift, up, down, back. You've got it, up. Lift, it's our final move. Stay strong, let's go. Down, yes, lift, up, almost there. So close. Four more, let's go. Four. Three. Last two. One more and hold it there. One. Up, hold it right there and down. Woo! You guys, give yourselves a huge round of applause. We did it, I am sweating, and I'm feeling good. We didn't even have to do a burpee. We didn't have to do a jumping lunge. We didn't have to do any reptiles. And I am still on fire. My heart rate is up. Oh my gosh, I'm at 157 uh, BPM right now. Not BPM, heartbeats per minute. Um, okay, so you guys, let's see how you are feeling. Okay, Stein Bean says that was amazing. Dancing Ice Princess says congratulations everyone. Um, I'm not sure what this means, but Little, little Megatron says Cassie. Probably you're just mad at me, um, but thank you for spelling my name right. Some of people call me Casey. Even though I say, hey guys, Cassie here at the top of every video. Oh wait, I guess I haven't been saying it. Oh, I have been saying it for the glow up sessions. Oh, how interesting. Cause we're doing this live. So I feel like I don't have to because like we know each other, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, thank you for calling me Cassie. Thank you for spelling my name right. Because ever since I attended school and I've gone off into the world, it's a 50, 50 chance whether or not people call me Casey or Cassie when they first meet me. I just don't understand. Phonetically, two S's means it's Cassie, not Casey. Anyway, um, okay. 
Eva is sweaty. <laughs> Katrina says this workout was crazy after yesterday. Uh, Zablexa says, I need that top. Oh my God, yes you do. This is from Pop Flex, and you guys, look at this. We've got adjustables in the back and they're rose gold. Yeah, I know, I know, everything matters. Y'all look cute when you work out. You know, it's just a lot more motivating. Um, okay, Pop Katinka says, my heart rate is running. Um, that was amazing, loved it. It's one of the best workouts, thank you, thank you. Oh man, okay, so you guys, you did it. I am so proud of you. So let's do a quick rundown um, of what already happened. Today is day four of the glow up sessions okay day one we did sleek body sculptor that was total body okay day two we did abdominal destruction we hit the core the obliques the abs day three we did bombshell bootification which is personally like my favorite name of a workout ever um except maybe do you, who remembers like what did i call that workout it was like booty badong kadong butt burner bootification or whatever from like years ago now that I think bombshell bootification is way better um and today is lean body meltdown day four we got our entire body moving heart rate up burning the fat cardio in and then tomorrow we've got a plus arms which i'm the most excited for because i love working my arms so tomorrow you're gonna need either resistance bands or some dumbbells and again if you don't have that cans will work two water bottles will work but it's gonna be good um and we will be doing some weightless arm moves so you know what i'm saying i'm just saying it's probably gonna be in there maybe it's gonna be in there with weights i don't know i've got to surprise you right then the following day we'll do some booty um some booty thighs and legs and calves so lower half of the body again before sunday which is when we will hit stretching and de-stretch de-stressing which is really really important okay because if we don't give our bodies the time to rest you're not going to be able to build the muscle and your body's just not going to function at its potential okay then monday we'll do it all over again and all the workouts right now um up to this point except for this day are all on youtube okay i will be uploading this video in the next several hours and then everything will be a free program in the body by blogilates app so beginning monday you'll be able to do the entire program in there and follow follow it check it off it'll be really great okay so you guys amazing work go to your meal plan make your meal whether it's breakfast lunch dinner i don't know maybe you're on a snack but remember to enjoy your food savor your food and have fun while you're cooking because that just makes it taste a lot better you know what i'm saying um okay you guys thank you so much for being with me and i will see you tomorrow for a plus arms okay good job bye you guys